Keepers, off-grid amateur here. Uh, Wintertime definitely presents certain challenges. Uh, I had to go and uh, get water. Big shout out to my first cousin and her husband for letting me uh, hook up to their hose bib. But because everything's frozen, my uh, rainwater harvesting, it's been uh, somewhat limited because everything's frozen here in Northeast Ohio. Um, so I had to put this on my trailer and go fill up with water. I did have ratchet straps on it earlier, uh, but I can't fill up this container all the way to the top because I don't want to exceed the axle um, weight limit on the axles for this trailer. So when you fill something like this water up this much, um, when you fill it up not all the way to the top and you've got an airspace in the top, the water sloshes around. It makes towing very, very challenging. But uh, you go easy, keep the speed down, avoid sudden starts and stops. Ideally, I'd fill it all the way to the top, but I'm afraid that, you know, how bad would it be if my axles broke? But I got to transfer it from this tank into my holding tank that's insulated. So I got a 75 foot long hose that's in this tank going across my yard. We'll walk over here. As you can see, we've gotten lots of snow in Northeast Ohio. We had ice on top of that. And I've got it hooked up to my water storage tank that is uh, wrapped up in this insulated box. And it keeps everything from uh, freezing even when it gets bitter, bitter cold out here. You can hear the pump running. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug the pump. Let me just pause the video so I can show you how this works. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about the disruption, but I've got 120-volt uh, power here. There's a few components in here. Uh, in order to keep this from freezing in the hoses and the pump and the filter and everything from freezing, I've got a small heater down in here, a little 200 water. And it doesn't consume much power, but I don't want it running all the time, so I've plugged it into one of these thermal cubes. It kicks on when the interior temperature is uh, 32 degrees and shuts off when it hits 45 also have an air pump. It's important to keep this water moving. So I've got an air pump and a stone that goes down inside this storage tank. And it uh, keeps the water from getting stagnant. Okay, but uh, when I need water, right now I've got this hose hooked up to it. But when I need water, normally this braided hose is connected where this garden hose is. And that siphons directly out of the tank through this, this pump that I picked up at Harbor Freight. And this is one of the uh, whole house particulate filters. It takes a little cartridge. So when I'm taking it out of that tank into here, I'm filtering it. When I pull it out of here into seven gallon containers that I take inside for my water uh, processing center inside my bathroom, then uh, it also passes through that filter. All right. And I'll do another video on my water processing center later. But I thought since I'm moving this water right now from that large tank on the trailer to this tank right here that's wrapped up in this insulation and make a video and show all the other off-gridders out there or somebody thinking about going off-grid uh, what it might be like to uh, have to deal with wintertime water. Normally I harvest off of a roof and I transfer the water through that white hose that is running underground but everything's frozen right now so I can't do it. I'm going to turn this back on, pause the video. Okay, and that's it. Uh, this tank has actually done a pretty good job of keeping my water from freezing, especially since I added that heater and being off-grid with a limited amount of power on hand. You know, I, I can only store so much in my batteries. I want to have a heater that, that's low wattage that will only be on when it's necessary to be on. And uh, sorry about the condition of this box that I framed up. Spent about $100 on Gorilla Tape and an inch and a half styrofoam board, but the, the chicken seemed to like the taste of it styrofoam. I, for the life of me, I can't figure out why, uh, but they're chickens, so, you know, they do some strange things. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.